Glory to God. We welcome you once again to this five-minute broadcast by Memphis Covenant Faith. My name is Pastor Helen Price. As always, we pray that God himself this day will meet you at the point of your need, whatever that need might be. Please lay your hands upon yourself as I pray just for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, this day, I bind rebuke, forbid arrest, and resist all weakness, sickness, disease, infirmity, pain, and discomfort. I command it to leave your body now. Also, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray and declare over you, let there be healing, wholeness, wellness, soundness, deliverance, recreated miracles, and total recovery in every cell, organ, and system of your body, from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. If you're in agreement with this prayer, please say, Lord, I receive this. Now, today's broadcast is part 10 of setting the standard of God's excellence in our lives. In John 3 and verse 7, Jesus said, Marvel not that I said unto thee, you must be born again. The dilemma for many is they wonder, how can a person be born again, be saved and experience this new birth, this new life, this great salvation? We've learned that there is a very simple way of understanding the why and the how of salvation from the book of Romans in the Bible. It is called the Romans Road to Salvation. We've covered the first three steps on this Romans Road to Salvation. Step 1, Romans 3.23. Everyone needs salvation. That is, everyone needs to be saved. Step 2, Romans 6 and verse 23. Sin has a price, and the wages of sin is death. Step 3, Romans 5 and verse 8. Jesus Christ died for our sins. Today we will cover step four on this journey on the Romans road to salvation. Step four is, how can I be saved and born again? Romans 10 verse 9 and 10 says, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God had raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made into salvation. There are two clear parts in verse 10. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, which leads us to John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The second part, with the mouth confession is made into salvation, is so very important, because Christianity is actually called the Great Confession. Jesus said in Matthew 10, verse 32 and 33, Therefore everyone, who confesses me before men, I will also confess him before my Father in heaven. But whoever denies me before men, I will also deny him before my Father in heaven. Jesus also said in Luke 12, verse 8 and 9, I tell you, everyone who confesses me before men, the Son of Man will also confess him before the angels of God. But whoever denies me before men will be denied before the angels of God. So let us review these four steps on the Romans road of salvation. Step 1, Romans 3 verse 23. Everyone needs salvation. That is, everyone needs to be saved. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Step 2, Romans 6 verse 23. Sin has a price. The wages of sin is death. But the gift that God freely gives is the everlasting life found in Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Step 3, Romans 5, verse 8. Jesus Christ died for our sins. God showed his great love for us by sending Christ to die for us while we were yet sinners. Step 4, Romans 10, verse 9 and 10. How can I be saved and born again? We must confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in our heart that God has raised him from the dead and we would be saved. As we end this broadcast today, may you continue to lift up the name of Jesus Christ and may his standard of excellence be set in every area of your life. This day, if you're not sure of your salvation, remember that the word of God says in Romans 10, 9, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Please say with me, Lord Jesus, that's right, say with me, Lord Jesus, I ask you into my heart and life. I repent of all my sins. Lord Jesus, I do believe that you are the Christ, the Son of the living God, and that God raised you from the dead. I give my heart and life to you. Now, if you prayed that prayer with me according to Acts 20 and verse 32, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace that is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among all them which are set apart in Christ Jesus. God bless each and every one of you today.